Hello, my lovelies. Aquarius, my aqua sauce. Let's see what we've got going on for your week ahead. March 25th through April the 1st. Let's see what's going on. What is their central theme? There it is. Trust. Okay. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So trusting your intuition. It's ironic on here that the the whatever the sacred geometry is um, I can never remember the name of these Mandela I think is what that's called it's blues and purples so blue is associated with the throat chakra so you may need to speak up and be heard I also feel like the crown chakra trusting your intuition is going to be crucial so balancing the two maybe you want to speak up somewhere maybe you need to speak your truth and your intuition is going to guide you to where you need to do those things all right, Aquarius, my aqua sauce. Let's see if we can get you messages for the next seven days. What does Aquarius need to know from April, from March 25th until April the 1st? My apologies, my dog always decides he's going to bark while I try and record for the week. All right, so we start out with some sort of crush energy with the page of cups here i feel like someone could be expressing themselves maybe expressing how they feel it's also really giddy excited energy with the page of cups so someone might be really excited um I'm trying to see what else i'm picking up before i say anything else I feel like someone's getting ready to trust their instincts to come forward. I feel like somebody may have um, a long-standing crush on someone else and they're kind of trying to trust their instincts of when is the right time to come forward and say something. So be kind to them. They could be younger than you. They might be kind of impressionable. It's almost like puppy love energy is what I pick up from the page energy. But there is some good news that's coming, so trust your instincts. All right, so the six of coins. I do feel like there's more money coming for you. Uh, it might be unexpected money. It could be like an unexpected check in the mail, things like that. But abundance is coming in. This could also be a pay raise, promotion, um, things that you've worked really hard for. But positive changes are coming in for you financially, enough to help you share the wealth with others. Maybe you're going to kind of help with um, a younger person in your life, like a child or something, that you're going to help be able to bless them. The Seven of Pentacles tells us that we can't give up too soon on a goal, especially a financial goal. There could be a lot of frustrations around money and finances work things like that but you also need to keep going if this is a goal of yours because you won't see the payoff or reroll or reward if you give up prematurely the queen of wands all right so she is somebody who is a master manifester very fiery in nature very driven passionate ambitious outspoken commanding a lot of attention she's also somebody who's a master manifester so you could be drawing things into your reality it could be more money it could be a relationship there is a wish fulfillment here. Trust in divine timing. Trust your intuition. Know that all hope is not lost. And if you stay positive, these things will start to align and come in. We also have the devil out here. So we are needing to let go of toxic things this week. Any sort of addictions, codependency, negative things that kind of hold us back from where we want to be. It's like we're stuck in this cage. So we need to be able to release that and let go so we can let ourselves out of that cage. Shifting your perspective this week is going to be crucial. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. See things differently this week in order to find some solutions and rest. I feel like you need to kind of give it to God and just let it go. Uh, whatever it is, whether it's love issues, financial issues, trust issues, codependency, addictions, things that you're really struggling with that are holding you back. I feel like you're trying to manifest things for a wish fulfillment to come in for success, but at the same time, there's things that are holding you back. I feel very overwhelmed in your reading, so I feel like you really need to just kind of um, throw that prayer out into the universe and know that it's been received 
and kind of rest and recover in the meantime. Trust your instincts. Your intuition will never guide you in the wrong direction. It's not how it's designed. I call it your internal GPS. It's your coordinates that are aligned with spirit, with God, with source, with the universe, with creator, whatever title you give that higher power. It's all the same energy. So trust that that intuition is always guiding you to something positive and away from something negative. Trust where it leads you. Don't listen to your ego. Listen to your intuition. Have a wonderful week.